faith in God is our foundation. Faith is our foundation in our walk with Christ and comes through meditation of the word and prayer. That is how our faith is strengthened and renewed. When we pray to God, knowing full well that our prayers will be answered in some way, that is faith being played out. We don't know how our prayers will be answered, we just know that it will be in his time. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Matthew 21 22. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 5 14. Total Surrender. To understand the power of faith in God means that we must place our whole life in the hands of God. By doing this, we are fully surrendering to God and allowing him to transform our lives for the better. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3 5 6. Faith is in very short supply, especially during these difficult times. There are millions who do not pray at all. Their faith is in the material things of this world like money and technology which have become like false gods. Because of this they have no foundation to base their lives on. Eventually, everything that they touch will turn to dust and will not last. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Ecclesiastes 9 5. Build your foundation on the rock. This foundation will never turn to dust because the foundation is not based in this world. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 3:11. It is founded within Almighty God Himself, through His beloved Son, Jesus, and it is simply not of this world. He is like a man building a house, who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against that house, and could not shake it, because it had been well built. Luke 6 48. There is nothing that cannot be done, nothing that cannot be achieved when we place all of our faith in God's hands. The Bible tells believers to prayerfully ask for what they need and then wait patiently for answers, trusting and believing that the God who loves them will also take care of them. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. A biblical example of trusting the wrong things. When the armies of Damascus and Israel threatened Jerusalem, Judah's king Ahaz sought protection from an alliance with the invading Assyrians rather than trusting God for their safety. The cost was steep and Jerusalem paid tribute to the Assyrian king for many years. During King Ahaz's entire reign, the Assyrian army did not attack any Judean cities, an accomplishment that garnered praise for the king but Isaiah was not impressed. He told the people that God's judgment was coming. Ahaz was deemed an evil king because he brought idol worship back to Judah. Turning the idols and relying upon the strength of the Assyrian army for protection disrespected God. Most people living in developed countries feel like they no longer need to rely on God for protection from invading armies or even the most basic necessities of life. Food, clean water, and shelter. However, we should not be fooled and we must remain vigilant. If we learned anything in the last couple of years, is to expect the unexpected. Everyone has troubles and difficult times and we still need protection. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6 12. Just do it. Benjamin Franklin successfully pushed the concept of a self-made man to the forefront of the American way. Over the years many of his sayings, such as, God helps them who help themselves, are not found in the Bible as many believed. Many of the values that Franklin embraced made sense to people and eventually became known as truth to many generations of Americans. These ideas lead people to try and tough it out when they go through difficulties. Yet these beliefs and values run counter to the teachings of the Bible and the principles taught by Jesus. Success is often measured by what a person achieves. So being still and waiting for God to provide solutions to problems seems to be counterproductive to getting something done. Yet the Bible teaches, Cursed is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from your flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. Jeremiah 17 5. Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Proverbs 28 26.